What's up guys, Welcome Customs here, and today we're going to take a look at the Batman Arkham Knights action figure, Batman. Looks pretty cool. I normally don't collect these, but he looks really interesting, so I just had to get him. And now uh, let's open him up. Alright guys, so here is Batman out of the box. It looks pretty cool. Nice, gritty looking Batman. I like the look. Not your traditional looking Batman. It has a little bit of different color schemes on him, panels, uh, armor look on him. It looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at it up close. First, as you can see, he looks a little bit different, uh, but you know it's Batman. But I like the look, you know, the paint job on it isn't the best, but I don't think it's supposed to be the best looking. It's supposed to be look, look a little bit grittier looking. Looks nice. Uh, you see he has a little bit of armor shins over there, little scratches on it. So it's supposed to look a little gritty looking, not perfect, which I kind of like, like I said. Uh, getting to all the details later, first off, let's take a look at his accessories. He does come with a battering over here, which is pretty nice. I like the material. It's not like a soft rubber. It's pretty hard. It has some paint work over it, too, on the blades right there. Looks pretty nice. He does also come with another hand, so you can actually hold this. And I'm not sure what this is. I thought at first it was a grappling hook. But these two things over here are kind of throwing me off. Now, I'm not really sure. I think this Batman is from the new video game coming out. So, maybe this, he uses this in the video game. I'm not, I don't have a lot of knowledge on that at all. But, it looks pretty cool. So, you could change the hands out. And you can have him hold it. You can actually put the fingers in there as well. Like that. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Let's take a look at Batman again. Now taking a look at Batman, he has a lot of detail on him. Let's take a look at them and try to appreciate it. Even the head scope. The head scope is a little bit kind of small in my opinion, but it doesn't look that bad. He has some details over there. The plate, uh, the armor plating on him looks really good, I think, in my opinion at least. You can take a look at the whole body. Even the back over here, a lot of details going on around there. Even the arms. The forearms right here, the, sh the forearm guards, it looks all nice. Even the belt, the belt has a lot of detail going on as well. A lot of individual paint work right there. A lot of details going into this whole figure. And I like this kind of Batman, like when he has a lot of armored on him or layers, because you can actually see it even in the pants. You see this is a one layer, and then on top of that is the gray, is another layer going down. Even the shin guards look nice. He has some white scratches on it as well. So great details. Of course in this figure and I also like the chest the chest looks pretty nice a little darker on top at his pecs going down it's a lot lighter gray as well so overall really great sculpting on this another thing on design I want to point out is how I like the shoulder pads and also the top of the cape over here it looks pretty nice both of them have this unique looking design to it I'm trying to get it best on camera as you can see you know it's kind of like a Kevlar look kind of uh, it's just on the shoulder pads and also on the top of the cape when you look at the back of the cape it's not it stops right there it's kind of like this part is totally different from the cape itself because there's like little buttons over here um, maybe that's when he clips it in or something like that so it's kind of interesting just uh, pointing out like not his whole outfit isn't always just black or gray he does have some kind of different patterns or armor over there now taking a look at the head sculpt, like I said, I thought it was a little bit too small, but it's decent, you know, he does have a long looking face, the eyes look pretty nice, the face, you know, it has a, you know, the skin tone is okay, I guess, you can see the lips also right there, uh, some people might not like it, some people might not care, but just pointing it out. Now taking a look at his cape, he does have a little bit of a design going on over here, but pretty much it's a decent standard cape. It's nice material, it's pretty soft actually. Uh, it's kind of heavy, but he's a really sturdy figure, so it's not going to weigh him down at all. But I like it because um, it doesn't really get in the way at all of the figure itself, and comes to posing. Getting to articulation now, it's not that bad actually. Going to the head, it looks like it's on a ball joint on a hinge, it goes up a little bit. Doesn't go down that much as well, but it's pretty decent. Uh, it does go left and right of course, and also pivots a little bit left and right. The shoulder joints on hinge joints are rotate, so they go all the way around, in and out nicely. There's no, the elbow pads, the shoulder pads, sorry, are actually connected, it looks like, uh, to the upper part of the bicep swivel, so it doesn't get in the way of the articulation, as you can see, so which is pretty good. Uh, bicep swivel over there, two points at the elbow right there, a hinge joint, at the wrist, it's kind of stiff, there you go, and a hinge joint in their rotation right there. But like I said, it's kind of stiff though. Now getting to the ab joint, which is nice as well. Crunch, look at that. Nice crunch. Goes back a little bit nice too. Uh, waist swivel right there. At the hips right here, he kind of has a nice 
T-joint and hips, but the crotch area is kind of wide right here, so it doesn't go up that much. So it only goes up about that much, which is pretty decent still. And it goes in and out. Uh, thigh swivel over there. Two points at the knee. Yeah. Uh, no boot swivel though. At the ankle, he has a pivot right there. And a hinge. So it's pretty decent articulation. Pretty nice. Uh, he's a sturdy figure, like I said. It's a big figure. He's not like a six inch figure. He's more like a uh, seven inch figure. Uh, but like I said, he still has pretty good articulation to get into nice poses when you try hard enough. And one thing I want to point out is the material they use, uh, especially when it comes to the like the shoulder pads, the cape, and the belt. It's really good and soft material, so it never really hinders articulation or anything like that. And you take a look right here. It looks pretty good. It feels pretty good at this too. So like I said before, you can move around the arms and everything, and the shoulder pads will never get in the way. They just slide pretty much over everything. And uh, if they get a little warped, you just push it back in, which is fine. Like I said before too, the cape is a nice material. won't get in the way of anything. And even the belt. The pouches over there, uh, really soft material, great job right there. So when you bring the leg up, you know, it just goes with the leg and you can bring it back down. Uh, on the belt itself, there's only two pouches on each side. And take a look at the back, it just stops right there. But like I said, nice sculpting. Uh, you can see his little, it kind of has like butt armor, as you can see right there, which is pretty funny. Uh, but other than that, like I said, the quality they use on the pouches and on the shoulder pads and cape are just perfect in, in my opinion. Alright, now going back to the accessories really quickly, you could probably take the battering and just slide it into his left hand. No problem. It fits in right there. That's pretty cool. And uh, for the other hand, like I said before, actually let's put it in the other hand as well. Maybe just slide it in. So either hand really doesn't make a difference. Uh, but for the other hand, you could actually take it off. Just pop it off. It's on a peg. Pretty easy. And you can slide this in. So he has all his accessories. Now remember, like I said, I thought this was a grappling hook. I'm not really sure what this is. If you guys know what it is, please leave a, leave a comment below. You might have more knowledge than I do. Uh, but it's not that bad. It's pretty cool. It, like I said before, it does fit in the fingers over here. So it's a nice touch. And I also want to point out when you take this out of his hand, you can actually put the uh, batarang in this one. It actually fits pretty nicely as well. Size comparisons, here is Batman, some of the other 6 inch Batman figures that I have. He's a big boy, like I said before, I don't really collect the size figure. He's about 7 and a quarter inches tall, if you want to include the ears as well, just above 7 and a half then. Uh, but he's pretty big, I don't normally collect either the Batman Arkham City or Arkham Asylum Batman, it's a little too big for me. But I like this one, I like how it looks, I definitely like the new armored look right here. I love, he's a little bit slimmer looking. Also, I love the shoulder pads and even over here, the cape armor, if you want to call it that. Because if you look at it from far away, it doesn't look like part of the cape. It looks like armor. So I like how that looks. And normally, if you look at my Batman figures, I love having them with the cowl on top and then having the cape going down to the chest and going down. I might have to make a new custom because I'm actually digging this look. It's more modern to today, obviously, where you see in the comic books, you see it in the movies, uh, even like... Nolan's Batman, etc. like that, and also in the video game, of course. It always has it open over here. You don't really see the cape going down to the chest anymore. So, uh, yeah, just thinking out loud. That's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I uh, hope it was helpful. It's a pretty cool figure. Pick it up if you can, and uh, I think it looks pretty nice. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.